Hello, my name is Princess Serena, not Princess, as you can see behind me. <laughs> and today I'm going to dive in into my Wally collection with you guys. But before I do that, I wanted to show you some pins that don't go on my main Wally board. And I thought it'd be fun to put them on something I actually just got in the mail today. A crack and trade fanny pack. And then inside, you open it and then there's the foam page which they also have books and bags and it has the same material and it's really thick so you can actually put pins on both sides so you know if maybe you're going on vacation or something and you want to show off different collections you could put some on this side some on that side and just switch them around throughout the trip and it's like you have a whole second bag and then here's another one it goes right in and it does not fall and then you just put it in and you zip it up and there it is here are the pins so this is one of the alien remixes that just came out this summer and i think he's so cute as a green alien and then we got this wally pin which is an le 300 i believe i'll double check and it's part of a nine piece marquee set and it shows different Pixar films. And this is actually the middle pin of the nine, which is very fitting for me because it's definitely my favorite Pixar film. And then we got the Pixar alphabet, which I did manage to almost complete the set. And I got half chasers and half non chasers. And for Wally, I actually got the chasers. So the chasers are LE 400 each and they're sparkly, the letters. And then the regular ones are not sparkly. And I'm super excited to wear this. And then the inside is pretty large. Like you can definitely fit a lot in here. And then there's also a zipper on the other side. Maybe put your money or your phone so it's close on your waist or on your chest if you wear it this way. All right, so that was the appetizer. Now to the main pin course. <laughs> Here's an overview of my Wally board. We're gonna dive in right here. So this is a set that came out and you could tear it and like give one to someone, but obviously I wanted them both. And I know Wally pins could get pretty similar with their designs, but I feel like like the facial features like are distinct enough. Eve is smiling without a mouth. That's just how amazing the animation and the story is. And Wally is just holding his own hands, like waiting to hold Eve's hands, super cute. And then this is a set I traded for these. I believe there are more that exist. They look so good together. And I like that I have an Axiom pin because that is definitely not something you see in a pin too often. And then we got Wally and Eve. And even though this isn't part of the set, it's a pretty common OE, but I think it's adorable because of the background. So it looks perfect together. I'm very big on arranging my pins to make it very aesthetically pleasing. This is a fantasy pin that my friend got me. All the way from Australia, it came from. And it's just one of my favorite lines in the film. I don't wanna survive, I wanna live. Which is something we definitely should still be standing for even in tough times. You know, take the time to just connect with loved ones and everything, which I feel like the message of Wally really apply. I mean, it always applies, but it really applies now. Those are some OE ones. Okay, this one I really like. I'm gonna take off. All right, so here's this one. It's an LE750 and has the Luxo ball at the top and then it depicts one of the cutest scenes of just Wally really caring for Eve and Eve like isn't, he doesn't even know if he, she's gonna like come back to life or like what happened, but he just really wants to take care of her in the rain. And then it just closes shut. And says Wally. And then we got that same Luxo ball in the background. We got John. I love John. <laughs> and then we have a Christmas pin. And I'm not super big on Christmas pins, but this one actually makes sense within the movie because there are Christmas lights in it. And then I remember as I managed to trade for these flip flops at an in person pin event. We do have pin events in Canada, which is super fun. This is just a booster pack, but it's so cute. It's kind of funny. This is also my mom's initials, but by and large, it's also from the movie. 
Then we got some Tsum Tsums, Hidden Mickeys, Booster Pack. Oh my goodness. I love this pin. This is one of my first Hollywood Studio Store pins. And it actually has a stained glass element. I'll show you. Got some more Christmas ones. Loungefly. Honestly, Loungefly pins, they've really stepped up their game. I'm starting to really, really like them. This is definitely one of my like favorite pins ever and it's pretty big like look at it in comparison to the other ones so they're like not tiny pins by the way so this pin represents when it won the best animated feature in 2008 we got eve this i got as a birthday present this year it's my first and only wdi pin and it's actually really special because my dad got me this and we were actually together New Year's in 2019. And this is a fantasy pin. I believe this was my first ever fantasy pin. I have quite a few now. It's an Ellie pin. Not sure the edition size. And I didn't know this actually moves until I got it. Another fantasy pin. I'm not in love with profile pins, to be honest, but I have a couple fantasy ones that fit my collections and I think they're really cute. Another one, you open it up and it says, you're out of this world. I loved this scene in the film when it's like he's flying in outer space because he has a fire extinguisher. So I'm really happy I managed to trade for that pin. And then this is an LE 500 as well as these. And there's not too many pins with the roach on it, but I'm really happy I was able to get this one. Got Mo, and then these actually move. You could shut them, but I keep them open. And then we got captain which just turns he's reading his book probably asking for it to open this is my most recent wally -E acquisition it's a hong kong 10th anniversary wally -E pin limited edition 500 super sparkly it's even more gorgeous in person then we got another valentine's ellie one this one's so cute He's protecting himself with a garbage can. Honestly, like Wally, protect him at all costs. He's the sweetest Disney character. Like I said, I'm very big on arrangement. I actually placed it so Eve was reaching for Wally's hands. How romantic. I love this one as well. 10th anniversary pin. It's super pretty. So we got a planet, Axiom, and then we have him holding the Christmas lights try to catch up to Eve over there. She's flying. And I believe that's a LE 500 as well. And that was a cast member exclusive. And then this one I didn't know moved. There's an 11, 11, 11. Was that one too many 11? 11, 11, yeah, 11, 11, 11 pin out there, which I definitely have to have to go next to the 12, 12, 12. And it's kind of fitting that the edition size is 1200 on that one. So that's it for my Wally -E collection, and I don't have anything in the mail coming as of yet to add, but when I do, I will definitely show you guys. And I would like to know, comment down below what was your favorite Wally -E pin I showed you, or if you collect Wally, -E, and if you don't, then what other pins do you guys collect? If you liked this video, please subscribe. I will definitely be going over all my collections and some more fun pin-related videos. So take care of yourselves and see you in the next one. Bye.